I'm going to teach you how to draw a orthographic projection of a first angle. And then you will be given in the form of isometric and then you will, they will ask you to draw a front view, left view, top view. So this is the position where you are going to draw the views that they will ask you. For example, front, left and the top. Always it will be like this in the first angle of orthographic projections. So here, this thing is the box of uh, isometric, which here is our front, this is our left, this is our top, which means our front is here, our left is here, our top is here. So when we are going to draw this thing, first we are going to draw a front view which we are going to see here when we draw the front view we are only going to see a, this portion or this block and this block and then this block you can't see the top you can't see the left view because here is also the top, here is the left, here is the top. And then you can't see it when you are, you are standing in that side. You are going to see only the place where I have uh, marked it. So, for the front, we are going to take this measurement of 20 and then you draw it here like this. And then you take uh, this one for 5. You write it, you draw it 5, 5 and then close it like this and then you go for the height our height is 10 and then you measure 10 from here to here and then you close this box because you are going to see this block and this part which is here you can't see the top as you agree okay and then you are going to see this thing that is in there, which is the line, you are going to draw it the same measurement as 7.5. You are going to measure 7.5 and 7.5. And after that, you draw it like this. This is our front view. We are done drawing our front view, and then they ask, they ask us to draw the left view of this uh, drawing or isometry. So, our left we are going to see only this one. This is the left, left view. We are going to see this. This one. This one. Only. So, then you are going to draw this part. As this one is 30, you draw 30 here. Uh, this one, height is still the same. Even here, for the line walk, uh, you can, uh, when you are using your T-square, mark it like that, and then mark it like that, because there's a max, there's a max of this thing, and then even here, this line, you have to mark it like that, mark it downwards, 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 okay, so and then you, our height is, is 10, all side is 10, our height, so we're going to see something like this. Here is that 10, something like this. And then this portion, which is this one. So then you, you can see that you have this portion and then you are left with this one. You are going to measure for that is from here. And then you measure for here. And then you take your line from there top to the bottom. And then you are done with your left view. Now you are going for the top view, which you are going to draw it using a. Even though maybe they give you these two and then say that you have to draw your top top view, you can uh, draw it using the these two drawing to form the last one. Even though they give you a front and the top, you can draw. You can use them to draw the left view and then here you are going to first you have to uh, uh, have a distance 
from here 20 and then you may a uh, year to year you measure 20 year to year 20 year to year 20 which means here it will be like yeah it will be like this and then you place your and then here 20 20 you place your you are a set square that one which is a uh, 45 degrees from here downwards downwards like this and then you start contracting this contracting this downwards taking every line downwards downwards when it touches this line you have to mark it And then you take them again to this side, transfer it that side, that side, and then that side. And then don't forget this one is 45 degrees. This is our line where they join, you have to transfer it to the other side of this drawing. See, after that you are going to draw the top view of uh, that thing. As you know, you can see that these lines here is too much bigger because I'm not using the accurate drawing. Here it will be like this. Yeah. So you are going to see the top, this one. You are going to see the top which will be like this you can see this line when they join here to here now you have your top you are you are you are you are, you are still drawing your top but you have one side of your top which is this one and then you can even see this one from the top which will be this line this line is guiding you how to draw this one which is like this so you are going to draw it like this one Okay, and then there is this line going downwards to where to this point where these things end, where, where this thing ends, which it will be here, here, taking it from here and taking it from here. Okay, and this one is just the block of this thing. This one was going downwards and downwards. Okay, it's going to too much. yeah as you can see this is the same is the same distance here and here and then you close this box you close it like this as this is just a dotted line to indicate the exact drawings So when you are done drawing this and then it means you have drawn your top you are done there is nothing that you have left here because the only portion it was going to be this one which is this one the top which is this one this thing which is this one and then you are done and then you get your full marks of drawing this thing uh, thank you for watching. Uh, goodbye.